Hey there folks, I'm Eric Osberg with The Outdoor Report and today's a pretty happy day because no more am I gonna have an auger banging around in the back of my truck or in the back of my sled when I'm out ice fishing because today I'm gonna install my Jaws of Ice ice auger from XL Outdoors. And when you get the, uh, when you get it open, you're gonna find a few things. You're gonna find two of these brackets. You're gonna find one of these bars right here. And you're gonna find some U-bolts with all the screws and washers and brackets that you're gonna need to put the thing together. What I found is when I went to mount this on the front of my four-wheeler, the U-bolt was too short, so I had to run to the local hardware store and I had to get a couple of these. But first thing you're gonna do is take the bracket, and you, or take this bar, and you're gonna wanna mount the brackets on here. When you do that, make sure you look on the box so you don't put them on backwards. But basically, you want these facing forward. And the way this mechanism works is when it's on there, that's how the auger is gonna lock into place. You do have to loosen these up a little bit so it's clear inside of there. Once you got it loosened up and clear, again, make sure it's on the right way. Slide this on and you can just hand tighten these because you can move them around wherever you want once you get the thing mounted. I did find that uh, a 10 millimeter was the uh, best fit fitting for these right here. So if you want to give them a little bit of grip right now so they're not sliding around, that's okay. Then basically all you have to do is decide where you're gonna mount it. I'm gonna mount right here. Now this is round on square, so there might be a little bit of roll, but uh, we're gonna crank it down and see what happens. So again, you just put that U-bolt right there. Slide that bracket on top. Washer there. And washer there. Stop bolt there. It's cold. that those are all super tight so that's not going anywhere you can slide these brackets adjust them accordingly and then the auger locks in there now one thing that you'll notice is sometimes this auger head will spin around maybe the gas can will end up dripping so you might want to get a bungee cord attach this so it's not spinning so once again that's the jaws of ice from xl outdoors available at www.xl-outdoors.com <laughs>